تضايق المراقبين استهداف عام شبابة Ugandan talk show host Charles Odonko was only showing mild symptoms from his COVID-19 infection until he was about to complete his 14-day quarantine. My worst day so far has been on the 12th day when, you know, heat, chills on the body and a very general weakness which I cannot even explain, the knees, the joint pains and then all these pains and then a lot of headache. Uganda's Minister of Health says the second wave of infections like Odong Thaws is straining Uganda's health care. There is increased demand for high acute beds, that is high dependence unit and intensive care units. Two, there is increased requirement for round-the-clock patient care and monitoring with more staff requiring than would normally be expected. Three, Exponential increase in oxygen utilization by over 10 folds. The latest wave of illnesses came after the lockdown was lifted and people gathered in groups, says Dr. Jonas Tegen Waldemariam of the World Health Organization. And until people keep distances, do this meeting in small numbers, keep a distance and keep hand hygiene, more and more Ugandas will get sick. And the more and more people get sick, the health services will not be able to cope with it. At Mulago National Referral Hospital, there are just eight functional beds in the intensive care unit and oxygen is in short supply. Hospital authorities say they are scrambling to accommodate the influx of patients. We have two levels where we are looking after and each level is of 56 bed capacity. So we have already set up a third level, ready in case we need to expand. And uh, the ministry is recruiting more uh, doctors and nurses who will be nursing these people. Meanwhile, Ugandan authorities are discouraging travel for the holiday season, fearing that the coming weeks could see another spike in confirmed cases. Halima Athmani for VA News, Kampala.